Hey everybody, welcome to the Tonal Trans Music Blog. Today I want to tell you that most everything I know about making a video blog, or blog for short. I'm also going to tell you everything I know about being a ventriloquist. Okay, let's start with the gear. The first thing you need is a video recorder or camcorder. Right now I'm using a Sony Handycam, which costs 200 bucks. When it comes to Sony Handycams, I was happy to discover that you don't really need to invest in the more expensive models if your primary use is going to be for video blogging. See, the video and audio quality is exactly the same for all Handycams, whether they're 200 bucks or 800 bucks or whatever. They're all 1080 HD and have the same mic with zoom mic function. It's just that the more expensive models have more built-in memory and more, you know, bells and whistles like digital picture stabilization and other environmental correction features. What you probably won't need as a vlogger, at least I don't need them, um, the built-in memory option is also not really a good value for vloggers since you know, a built-in memory upgrade of 32 gigs will add around you know, 100 bucks to the price of the camcorder. And just buying a separate 32 gig flash drive, you know, a flash card for the cheaper model you know, only costs like 25 bucks. Also, if you're going to be working in a studio, you, know, you won't need a lot of storage on your camera because you'll always be close to your computer onto which you can upload your files whenever you need more space on the card. All right, next thing you'll need if you want to do whiteboard blogs is a whiteboard. I got this 48 by 36 universal brand whiteboard uh, for 45 bucks. Um, 45 bucks is a pretty good deal, but I've had to be very gentle with this particular item as I've chipped it twice, but that's all so far. And for what it's worth, the chips don't show up in the videos that much. I don't know, you could get a more expensive kind if you wanted. Next, I want to brag a little bit about how I mounted it on the wall with this ninja trick of tying some wire across the back of it and then hanging it like a painting from the same nails that were already in the wall. So I didn't need to drill any new holes. Regardless of whether or not you can do that too or not, make sure to use a level. All right, next, you need to be able to write on the dang thing. So get some dry erase, uh, dry erase markers for like five, ten bucks. Um, I like having lots of colors for highlighting different concepts and drawing parallels between ideas. And you can get lots of colored markers, um, you know, for like twenty bucks in the larger packs. Uh, next thing you might need, but you might not, is a projector. I got this Optima Playtime projector for around two hundred bucks. Uh, so yeah, I have really crappy handwriting skills, especially when writing with markers on whiteboards. Uh, the solution to this problem for me has been tracing formatted word files from a projection. I originally tried just doing my video blogs using the projector itself, but unfortunately the projection shows up in the video with this kind of weird rainbow fluctuating pulse um, that would really only be useful if I was shooting like psychedelic hippie stuff, which I'm not currently doing. Um, so yeah, got a trace. The font I've grown to like tracing the best is the Seggio print font, um, as it's the closest I could find to the way people write in longhand. The only drawback is it can be a little, um, well, longhanded, meaning a bit too wide. Um, so another trick you can use is taking a print screen of your template that you want to trace and then project, project and trace, um, and then messing with the dimensions of it in a digital imaging program. Any kind will work. Uh, even MS Paint, that's what I use. Um, don't forget you'll need a cable to connect your projector to your computer. Like an HDMI cable is gonna cost you 10 bucks. Oh, by the way, everything else in these videos come with whatever cables you need, if you're wondering. Okay, if you get a projector, you're also going to need something to put it on. I use a music stand. The Manhasset music stand specifically costs 45 bucks. And that might seem like a lot for a music stand, but since I use it to support my projector and to support my laptop, it's worth it. And yeah, you'll need a computer to produce and upload your blogs. This goes without saying. Uh, mine was like 400 bucks. It's decent. And obviously, more processing power and more memory are better. But keep in mind that you should make sure your specs are all within the same tier. Um, because all the memory upgrades in the world won't do you much good if your processor is slow, and vice versa. But yeah, get a good stand. You don't want your hundreds of dollar toys crashing to the ground and breaking because what you put them on was flimsy. And speaking of non-flimsy things, 
this fellow right here, this is a great deal. The Vista Explorer tripod. This is 25 bucks. I especially love this little leveler and this little clip-off feature. So you don't have to screw your camcorder back on to the base every time you want to attach it. Just whoop, off, dump the video files, then whoop, it's back on. Pretty slick. Well, thanks for watching part one of how to make a whiteboard vlog. Um, and we'll see you next time for part two, audio and lighting. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and chipper chopper and a big black block. A dull, dark dock, a lifelong lock, a short, sharp shock, a big black block. You sit in solemn silence in a pestilential prison and awaiting the sensation from a cheap and chipper chopper in a big black 